Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a, another episode of Bull Cut 1G, my double XP locked account. It's been a long time since I posted, so let's do a quick recap. This absolute unit right here is Bull Cut 1G. So I had the idea to create a double XP only account, uh, meaning I can only actively train it during double XP. Uh, but there are some exceptions on what I can do outside of double XP, daily challenges, uh, daily keys, questing, some skills that aren't really affected by double XP. And uh, yeah, so you're all cut up. Let's get back into the final day of our very first double XP. We paused our double XP timer in order to do some uh, questing and uh, get some treasure hunter keys. So we're going to start off uh, just with a couple of uh, really, really short quests. We're going to finish off Chef's Assistant, and then we are going to do uh, Sheep Shear, uh, two of the oldest quests in the game, actually. The reason I'm trying to do these quests is uh, it's currently Loot Duel's uh, promo, and as I'm not allowed to buy any Treasure Hunter keys on this account, I want to make as much use of it as I can, and uh, unfortunately I didn't get anything good there. Yeah, I'm using Black Wolf for Sheep Shear because I'm edgy. And there is the quest completed. Uh, mini quest? Oh my gosh, when did they change this to a mini quest? It is time to unpause our double XP timer, and uh, we're gonna do a quick tree run first, as uh, it looks like our trees have finally grown. And then we are going to hop uh, straight into thieving, currently level 63, and uh, we need to get up to level 85 uh, in order to uh, get all the quest requirements out of the way. We are racing against the clock, four hours left of double XP, and... Oh, I'm an idiot. Daily divine locations are imperative for this account uh, to get the slower gathering skills, uh, fishing, woodcutting, even hunter. Alright, we got our familiar out so we can boost our uh, thieving up and start safe cracking, and I have a pretty makeshift uh, preset here, so uh, let's get after it. To be completely honest, I'm actually not sure of the XP rates I should be expecting for uh, safe cracking. I was 200 mil on my main when safe cracking was released. I just did it like the old fashioned uh, pickpocketing way. Um, and I just kind of AFK'd it uh, on my hardcore Iron Man when I was uh, playing on that account. So uh, yeah, we're going to be full, full paying attention and let's see uh, what kind of rates we can get up to. There is 70 thieving coming in. Uh, we're going to just keep safe cracking. Um, I think the last skill I really want to work on is going to be dungeoneering. Um, and I have a trick on how to kind of cheese the double XP timer for that. I'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I think we're just going to keep pushing through uh, with safe cracking. And uh, yeah, we'll see where it takes us. Finally got enough pilfer points to upgrade our loot bag uh, to medium. This should help out with the XP per hour a little bit, rather than having to uh, return to Lumbridge like after every single run. Uh, so I'm not really sure how much more it can hold, but uh, hopefully it's a lot. All right, we're going to hand in what we have for now. Uh, we're down to two and a half hours left of double experience, and uh, I still need to get summoning up. Uh, I did do some extra Slayer, so I have some charms, and we need 75 summoning in order to unlock the, uh, oh, what's it called, Plague's End quest, in order to access Priftiness, uh, so obviously I want to get that out of the way. Well, that didn't take very long at all. That is 75 summoning, uh, meaning we can now have access to Priftiness after we do the quest. So we're just going to finish up all our charms here. And then uh, I think I'm going to take a small break. Uh, there's a couple quests I want to knock out of the way. Um, in order to uh, get some more bonus experience in Dungeoneering. Um, and then I think I'm just going to AFK, uh, or not uh, AFK, but I'm going to do Slayer until 78 as well, um, as that's another requirement while, and I'll do that while uh, Double XP is paused, and then we will test out our uh, cheesed Dungeoneering strategy. All right, quick stop at the disassembly line, and that is an invention level. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to train some... Uh, some Slayer here for a while. I want to get to level 78, um, but I am going to pause my double XP timer for it um, as it goes pretty fast anyways, and uh, I want to save it for Dungeoneering, which I want to get to level 75 for Priftiness, and it's going to suck. It's my least favorite skill in the game, but uh, hopefully my method will uh, help out a bit with that. And yeah, Slayer should be uh, should be interesting. I really don't have any melee weapons yet until I hit 70 attacks, so that's gonna suck for melee tasks. But uh, yeah, we are uh, <laughs> we're close to the finish line. 
While I was slaying, I was looking at the wiki for some of the uh, faster and easier quests to complete. Um, I just want to knock a couple out. Um, like I said, I despise doing dungeoneering. Uh, so any bonus experience I can get in the skill, uh, they get it to 75 faster, is going to be really, really huge for uh, the sake of my mental health. So I knocked out uh, quite a few quests uh, while the double XP timer was paused and... Uh, yeah, I didn't get a lot of bonus XP. And with this kill, that is 78 Slayer. Uh, so we have all the quest requirements and we can move on to uh, banging out some quests. I decided to do three different quests. Uh, first is the Blood Pact, really, really easy and fast quest uh, there in Lumbridge. And then for some reason, I, I always get fooled. Elemental Workshop 1, Wiki says it's fast, and I guess it is. Maybe I just have PTSD from doing all four of the Elemental Workshops on so many accounts, but I hate this place. But uh, we got the quest done, and then we finished it off with a fishing contest, and then decided to do our daily challenges, extended, of course, for the extra XP. All right, Elemental Workshop 1 is complete. I hate this place. I wish that none of these quests came out, but uh, we got some Treasure Hunter keys. Not useful and not useful. Oh, that's unfortunate. Fun fact, Fishing Contest is actually the first quest I ever did as a member and uh, way, way back in the RuneScape Classic days. So a little, a little bit of nostalgia here. All right, and the reason I'm doing these quests uh, for the keys is because it's loot duels right now, so I'm trying to get uh, stack up some bonus experience. Small stars, that's uh, that's unfortunate. All right, logged out, logged back in to get our daily challenges. Of course, we're going to extend all of these. Uh, got herb lore, agility, and smithing. So we'll uh, we'll use a skip ticket there on agility, just make some potions, and then bang out some uh, smithing. And uh, I think then it's time to move on to dungeoneering. We have arrived at last. There's four hours and 45 minutes left until double XP weekend comes to an end. And I still have two hours and 13 minutes left on the timer, as you can see. Seeing as I've lamped Dungeoneering level so far, I think the move here is to duo with my main, uh, clearing every single floor starting from one and going to as high as I can on bull cut before I'm forced to prestige. And after I prestige, which should be around floor 26 or 27, I'll start the double XP timer again. I'm really not looking forward to dungeoneering for the six hours, but we are at the finish line. So let's leave it all on the table. And for those of you wondering, uh, the way prestige works with dungeoneering, the higher your prestige is, the more XP you're going to get, essentially is what it breaks down to. I won't get into the specifics for the numbers, but higher the prestige, more XP. There's another floor complete, but more importantly, that is level 54 Dungeoneering, which means we have access to level, uh, or not level, but floor 27. Uh, so yeah, a little bit extra prestige means a little bit more extra XP. There's another floor. And there we go, that is floor number 27. It is time to uh, prestige, and then uh, we start our double XP timer back up. I'm 200 mil Dungeoneering on my main. I have three accounts with 120 Dungeoneering, and I still get anxiety every time I prestige, like I'm, I'm about to mess something up. But uh, yeah, there we go, we're prestiged. All right, so here's the cheese strat I was referring to earlier. I'm duoing with my main, basically suicide rushing every single floor until the end on my main account. And uh, as soon as the floor starts, I'm actually going to lobby on bull cut. This keeps me in the dungeon on the floor, but it pauses the devil XP timer. And then when I finish the floor on my main after I kill the boss, I log back in on bull cut, use the gate stone teleport portal to go to the boss, End the floor, get the XP, and continue on to the next floor. And then once I reach the next floor, I lobby and repeat. This way I can get the most out of my double XP uh, without uh, using all of my timer. So here it is. This is a very important level because with this Dungeoneering level, that is 2,000 total skill level. 
Oh, it's a good feeling. This was a brand new account nine days ago, and in one double XP, I've got all the way to 2,000 total level. Ah, oh, it is very, very satisfying. I was essentially a zombie at this point, as it was around 3 a.m., and I mindlessly pushed floor after floor. I didn't do any live commentary, so you're stuck with this voiceover instead. As the montage continues on the last moments of Bullcut's first ever double XP weekend, I just want to give a huge thanks to everyone who has supported the channel so far. When I started YouTube, I really didn't think anyone would watch my content. There's many YouTubers out there who are way more personable than me, many YouTubers who are way better at PVM than me, better editors, they have better ideas for content, they're more energetic. I just didn't think anyone would want to watch anything I did. The feedback and the love that I've received through my videos has been absolutely overwhelming. I've met a lot of great new friends along the way who have recognized me from either this series or the Golden Reaper series, and that's truly been the most rewarding experience of all of this. Over the last several months, I've stretched myself really, really thin in real life, and it took a pretty significant toll on my mental health. I had way too many projects going on at the same time around the house, uh, the stress of being an air traffic controller. I shied away from making new content for you all to enjoy, and that was rather selfish of me. I've rounded off my responsibilities and finished most of my projects that have been weighing me down, with the exception of my RuneScape-themed game room, which is still under construction and I've committed to releasing content much more frequently once again. I hit 600 subscribers last night, which is an incredible number for me. With 400 more subscribers, I can partner with YouTube and light the fire under me to make much more content for you all. If you've enjoyed this series or the Golden Reaper series, please hit the subscribe button. It goes a very, very long way. Okay, this floor should be a dungeoneering level and this is also the uh, last floor i can do so we have to prestige with uh, 12 minutes left on double xp all right this is the final dungeoneering floor for double xp i am so tired right now but this will be level 72 dungeoneering didn't quite make it to 75, but uh, that's okay. I plan on doing sinkholes as one of my uh, uh, dailies, so should get it pretty soon after. I think uh, I'm just going to hop over and do some divine locations uh, before the clock runs out. There is level 62 fishing from my divine uh, swordfish location. As you can see from my in-game clock, there is less than one minute remaining for double XP weekend. So I will be signing off, and uh, yeah, I will see you in the off-season as my active training has now come to an end. And there we go. That is the end of Bullcut's first ever double XP weekend. The account is officially 10 days old, and we made a pretty significant amount of progress. As you can see, we were able to get 2016 total skill. Didn't quite get everything done that I was hoping to. However, it will come in time, and I just need to be patient. I really hope you guys have enjoyed the series so far. And if you have, please hit the subscribe button. I will see you for the next episode.